I know somebody else who does. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to do a vlog post over here. Oh, okay. Okay. All Sorry. Right. Are you going to leave that in there? I might leave it in here. <laughs> hey, um, my studio audience is kind of uh, disrupting his vlog post, post. Hi, this artist, entrepreneur, and art educator, Eric McRae. Um, received an email from a, a, a friend who um, is making the transition from um, a full-time uh, IT professional to uh, doing their art full-time. And they were involved in a certain group and they were kind. These people were really kind to her. And she was, you know, a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart of a person. And she gave uh, these individuals um, pieces of her artwork and they, you know, came across as being appreciative and so forth and so on. And then after the meeting, all the artwork was left there um, and nobody took the stuff home. So basically, uh, it's like uh, somebody gave you a gift and you didn't really want it. And you end up uh, re reusing it or re-gifting it. But, you know, she was hurt and, and justifiably her feelings were hurt. And, um, and she asked me about it. And here's my feedback. I learned the hard way. Do not give your art away. I'm going to say it again. Do not give your art away. Now, we're talking about a charity or some kind of situation where you worked out some particular deal to help a charity of your choice or so forth and so on. That's another vlog post. Uh, and who to give that kind of work to and who not to. I've, I've, I've been through so much and seen so much. So back to giving your art away. This is how it started with me. I'm young. Um, I'm excited. I'm making art in art school. I'm doing all kinds of ambitious things. I'm, and then my relatives and there's the holiday season and I'm, I'm feeling the holiday spirit. And I give uncle, uncle so-and-so a piece of artwork and aunt so-and-so and my brother this. And I'm giving artwork left away, left and right. And people are like, oh, this is so nice. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you're so talented. And then later on, I go see Uncle Charlie. Hey, Uncle Charlie, where's that artwork? I don't know. Hey, hey, bro, where's my, I go to my brother, where's the, oh, man, I think I threw it away. Hey, uh, Aunt so-and-so, where's the artwork? You know, oh, matter of fact, somebody from the peanut gallery over here just reminded me, I found a piece of my artwork that somebody had given to somebody else, folded the artwork up into little small sections, didn't appreciate that. And then also another time found a piece of my artwork. Somebody had flung up into an attic way in the back, like they hurled in the back of the attic into a pile of junk. I was so disappointed, so hurt because a beautiful, beautiful painting. But here's the thing. What I found out is art is very subjective. So the thing you give to somebody, it may not be their cup of tea. Thus, it has no value. The thing that they paid nothing for has no value. Your sweat equity, your time, your energy has no value to them. So you know what the fair and equitable trade is? Money. I'm going to say it again. I know people get so ticked off when I mention money related to art. But let's go all the way back to Greco-Roman society today. Money and art go hand in hand. And money is really a representation of somebody's time. Somebody works their 40 hours, their 60 hours. They close that deal. Their car salesman, they sold their car. And then they get... They get a, their compensation check. Their salesman gets paid. Whatever some some person in corporate America or uh, Wall Street gets their big bonuses and spiffs and blitz. It all represents their time and labor. Your art is the exact same thing. It represents your time and your labor. So when you give somebody a piece of artwork, they need to compensate you. Because here's what happens. Nobody appreciates it until they usually pay for it. It's rare you'll find a person who will appreciate free art. So here's the deal. I tend to barter art. I will sell art. I will exchange things, gifts, you know, okay, somebody give me a piece of art. I give them a piece of art. Something, you know, that kind of exchanges somebody. Bottom line is some something that somebody else values, they give to you and something you value, you give to them. That way, everybody feels like they have some skin in the game. And when somebody has usually no skin in the game, they don't necessarily appreciate it. And here's what happened. When I start selling my art for $50 or $100 or hundreds of dollars. Every case, I'll go by, hey, Uncle Uncle John, where's that piece of artwork? Oh, there it is, son, right over there on the wall. Hey, Aunt so-and-so, where's my, where's my, oh, lined up. Look like an art museum. They bought so many of them, they were lined up. Go to my cousin's house, whoever's house. 
I have plenty of my relatives bought my art. I may cut them a little bit of a deal because they're family. But the bottom line is they paid something. They put something in that represented a piece of their time, their life, their sweat, their their efforts. Now that art has a greater value because they're not going to throw it away. You don't find anybody throwing anything away or discarding something just so haphazardly if they put their time and energy into it. Thus, you have to make people appreciate what you do. Back to what I was saying earlier about about the importance of if you don't respect your art, nobody else will. So when you do something to make them appreciate it, they already think you're talented. But it, you become a lot more talented in their eyes when they put their money on the line and they've invested in you. You become a stock that they bought at a reasonable price. You are a stock in the minds of other people when you're building a market value for your artwork. Thus, don't depreciate what you do by haphazardly and casually giving away. You may be the most heartfelt, sincere, generous, kind person, but I'm talking about human nature. And unfortunately, most people don't appreciate things for free. And that applies to a lot of charity organizations you may give things to. And that's another blog post. Don't be a fool. Don't give away your value because your art represents your time, your material, your talent, your energy across the board. No different than the doctor, the lawyer, the, the IT specialist, whoever that has these gets these big price tags in society. If you're doing the right things, your art will have the same type of value somewhere out there in time. Invest in yourself in the long run. They'll come back to you. I can promise you that it's happened for me. It's happened for mine. So, all right. If you like this content it's blessing you, it's been a benefit to you. You're getting some good stuff out of it. Share it, like it, retweet it, share it on Facebook, Instagram. Let's get this information out there. As you notice, I'm not charging anybody for this content. I don't have any kind of package I'm selling, no set of DVDs or digital downloads you have to pay for. This is all absolutely free. And I got this stuff the hard way. I'm giving it away free to you. Don't devalue this. Don't take it for granted. Use it to your benefit. Help another artist. Share it with somebody else. And matter of fact, this may not just apply to artists, but anybody who's a professional out there. Many people I've seen donate things to different organizations, give things to people. You know how that happens, unfortunately. So keep this in mind. Take care and keep in touch.